Demonic Fox! Ready to go. Mm -mm. Got the one piece of the obsidian. What do we need more? Or what do we need next? Probably more. What the heck was that? It just beeped at us. What was going on here? We already got that. Nope. Okay. I guess it's... I guess it's not going to beep at us anymore, so that's fine. What? Why can't I... What am I missing here? I'm going to take the skull, I guess. And, um... I d what the hell? Why can't I go forward? Is it glitching out? I don't think... What the heck? What? <laughs> what? The fuck? <laughs> okay. While exploring the caverns below Chichen Itza, Agent 5 attempted, keyword, to pass the Hall of Spears. He figured out how to stop the spears, but overlooked an important part, aspect of the puzzle, how to keep them stopped. The resulting perforations were fatal, and the next of kin had been notified. I ever knew what that meant when I was a kid. The next of kin had been notified. I was like, w w so what? Like, do you let them know, I guess, that he's dead or something? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know what that meant. But so this is... What the heck? So we can go forward, but then it stops us. See? Why? Why does it stop us? What the hell? <laughs> what is going on? This is Glitch City. This is Gage's bad dream. So, this is clearly a glitch, right? Because the skull is back over here for some reason. And, yeah. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to jump all the way back <laughs> to the temple. And then come back down, which is fine. But... This is genuinely a glitch. You're seeing it in the flesh because I should be able to waltz right back out here again. You can see there are no spears. Alright, I will meet you back, I guess, uh, out in the entryway. Well, that was then. This is dumb. Let's go back out here, I guess. I don't think we're going to need to have these skulls. Yeah, it's... whatever. He doesn't have one anyway. He kind of lost his head. Ha 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 ha! Whatever. So the other one was the God of War. That was the first one, right? We got rid of, we got that one taken care of, and we got our little obsidian trinket from the gift shop, which is super cool. So let's hop across. This is the only way that there's a river, right? I think, yeah. Let's head over here. I don't know if I turned that translator off or not. Because I had to use it to go and get back down here, right? But I don't know that I turned it off. I don't know why you couldn't just leave it on all the time. I was thinking about that earlier, like, there's no penalty for leaving the translation on. I don't think you get more points for not translating something. Hmm. You put your offering in this receptacle, the door closes, and it's taken by someone or something to be judged for its worthiness. Really? I don't believe in magic or the powers of the gods, but it may be possible oh, that there are it. acolytes living in alcoves within these walls. And all they do is collect the offerings and open the doors if they're good enough. I guess you must say that at every single one. You must say that to all the offerings, huh, Arthur? Those who wish to gain counsel with Tealoc, is it Tealoc or is it Tealoc, must cross the waters of disbelief in the stepping stones of faith. Yes. So, what could this one possibly want? Hmm. 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 <laughs> Well, here's where it comes in handy that we got the water. When I figure out what the heck it was called. Yeah, water canister full. We'll just pour a little bit. Look at how much he pours, right? It's just a tiny bit. But now... Oh, no, it is full. I thought it was empty. I thought it empties when you do that. What was that? You see that? There's a little bit of right here. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, the light is free. I suppose it's because we have the light, the headlamp. 
Oh, this looks nice, huh? This looks very tranquil. Problem is that the entrance is up here. So that's the thing. Well, what do we got? Nothing over here. Hey, who's the architect who built this bridge? This place is like the Winchester Mystery Pyramid. <laughs> you know, that's a place that'd be really cool to go and visit, but at the same time, I also don't know that I'd actually ever want to go in there. It just seems creepy for that reason, but I like this area. This is really cool. Well, we want to get up there, and we're down here. In the words of Michael Richards, at possibly one of the worst things, worst showings ever at an MTV Video Award, we're over here, and that's up there. Actually, it was, what was it like? Well, I'll, I'll be here, and you'll be there, and... So you're out there, and I'm here, and somebody else is somewhere else, which is not here, but it's where they're supposed to be. And that, that's real spooky. It's like, this is fucking uh -huh. terrible. Right up there. There, which is not here. That's spooky, man. Very clever, Glass Hopper. Hmm. This is a pretty elaborate contraption. The Maya were amazingly advanced, but I never would have imagined this level of mechanical engineering. From the sound of it, there's a water wheel down below that's driving this whole mechanism. That tells me that there must have been a particular season for these priesthood initiation trials. Part of the reason the rain god was so important to the Maya was that the Yucatan was susceptible to drought. If we'd arrived a few months later, there would have been a little more than a trickle to drive these platforms. What I really ought to be doing is saving, I would say, but you know what? Fuck it. Alright. I'm gonna use the actual click on my mouse because my touchpad has been a little iffy here. Wow, this is way smoother than my computer, my original one. It would always like, you. this is seamless, right? But uh, on my original computer, it always just stick for a second. So I'm really used to it doing that and it's not doing that, but that's cool. That wasn't too bad. That looks really cool though, to, to be able to actually see the whole situation going like that. We don't want to do this again just yet, though. And I want to go and save because now I'm not going to say fuck it. Now we are going to save. And luckily, saving is instantaneous. I don't think they ever imagined you were going to play this game with a... Do I have a 12-core <laughs> machine? Yeah. Are there any tricks? Do we have any tricks? This kind of looks like a face. Whatever, we're just gonna hop across here. Don't fall. You know, if he does though, who cares? Like I've been in space with this thing. Mmm, he's pretty. That would be Tlaloc, <laughs> the rain god. Mmm. That's correct. Arthur checks out. Cool. No, there really isn't much else of a trick to this. You just go and grab this, and then you you loot it, and you get out. But you're not really looting it, right? Because you're playing along with the whole thing. And we're just going to head right back to the fun swings of amazement and fantasticness. Well, let's do it again, shall we? But this time, in reverse. Two hops this time. That one's pretty easy to get on to. Meow. Meow. <laughs> I need to have my classic 90s three button mouse to go and work with this, or my three three clicker mouse instead. I mean, I guess it had three buttons, but buttons are my... Wow, Zach. I woke up from a nap a little bit ago. Clearly I am not all here. But you have a whole bunch of buttons on mice now. But you only have two, you have left and right click, but on this one you had a middle click too. And that was kind of cool. I don't think I ever used the middle click for anything. But it was, it was possible to have it. So that's cool. 
What do you suppose he pushes to actually make that door go back up there? I don't know. There's no switch or anything. Hop, 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 hop. Here's a fun thing, too. I was looking up Buried in Time again on the internet last night, and actually they have a Twitter for the Journeyman Project as a whole, and it's still active. I think the last... Well, mostly active. The last uh, entry on the website, I think, was from 2020, and I think the last tweet was, too. But or actually, it might have been even more recent than that. It was really cool. So they're actually still doing stuff with the game yet. I like it. Hey, nice door. Didn't I see Bob Vila make one of these on this old pyramid? I'm pretty sure I picked up the right save game, because we've heard all of this, but we have everything, too, so I don't know. Those who will represent the god of wealth must turn their backs to worldly possessions and lower their heads in humility. Sounds legit. What do we give... What do we give the god who has everything? Ugh. For wealth, anyway. Copper key? Copper medallion? How about some gold coins? <coughs> Nom. It was the gold coins. Go back all the way up to Arthur again. Because I like to have his chattiness. It entertains me. What the hell is that sound? I thought I heard something. Alright. Rope bridge. Very dangerous. You go first. <laughs> Isn't rope bridge an oxymoron? So this is another cool little canyon. Like, look at this. I love that this is... I love that it's not completely underground. It actually is, you know, cut into the canyon like that. I think it's neat. Let's go across here. I mean, this is... Yeah, you can call it a bridge, like he was saying, but it doesn't look particularly fun or sturdy. Man, this place looks like something Wayne Newton would wear around his neck. <laughs> this is all gold, FYI. And those are skeletons in there. Why? Because we don't go in there. Oh, look at that. That's another little cutout. I think it might have been where we were at before. But look at this. If you turn around and bow your head in humility, you see another entrance. So let's go back across. Or as some people would say, across for some reason. I don't know why people had a T to it, but whatever. I really would... I don't know that I could see this thing supporting the jumpsuit. I guess they're thick fibers for that rope, but we gotta go attach to this. Luckily, we thought ahead, and we grabbed a coil of rope from old Da Vinci. Why don't we go down here? Now, I don't know about that bridge. That seemed okay, but this I do not see supporting us. That jumpsuit has got to be super freaking heavy. All the technology and everything on it. Now this looks cool. Look, that's all jade, I think. Not jade. Did they... Can you find jade outside of Asia? I don't ever hear about it otherwise. This is limestone, I think, right? That's what I was thinking of. Maybe, I'm sure you can find jade somewhere else, but... This looks beautiful. This is probably my favorite one. Look at this. I think it looks pretty. And you know what? That's what matters. No comment or anything? Looks cool. Hey, wow. Nice work. Oh, this Jade. Have any idea how difficult it is to carve stone? And all these guys had to work with were primitive stone tools and a spirograph. This one was limestone. You know, I kind of liked spirograph when I was a kid. It was fun. I had a good time with it. I don't remember doing a whole lot, but actually they kept trying to update that too. I was talking about how the game was updated, or the team likes to update people through Twitter and all that. We'll talk about some updates for Spirograph. I got this weird, what was it? It had all black paper, but it was coated paper. So underneath it was like rainbow paper, and then it was coated with this black coating. So whenever you'd use the pen on it, or it was like a plastic stylus thing, it would actually take off parts of the coating. 
So instead of having just one color, like using a pen, you'd have this cool rainbow effect. And it was really neat, actually. They, they had it in a very accessible 90s kid style, I guess, as opposed to the 70s. I think it's when it originally came out, right? 70s or 80s. It seems like a 70s thing. Like, oh boy, let's draw circles. That seems like a 70s thing. We've got everything that we need now. We have completed this part of the trial. I'm going to go ahead and save. Oh, save once more, and then we'll start looking for this evidence here. Because that's fun. Oh, it's templed. Okay, we've been templed, 04. Great. Let's translate what's going on. The final trial is the first sacrifice. What's that thing the mummy said in the mummy? It was death is only the beginning. I was thinking of that the other day. Like I can go back and watch the mummy. I haven't seen the new one. But I liked the old one really well with Brendan Fraser. Because if you say Fraser, he will come and rip your head off. I'm pretty sure whatever this is is what we want to look at. Let's see. Yep. Good guess, huh? Well, I don't know what that is. It looks like parts of a candy bar that fell apart. I don't know. So, what do we offer this person? Well, we don't offer him anything. We build his beard, I guess. Or I don't know what it is. But we're going to go build it. And how do we do that? We stick things in it. We have the jade block. We have the limestone block. We have the obsidian block. Yay. This looks dangerous. I'm surprised he's not commenting on it. What's he holding? Smoking something. That's cool. I can get down with that, yeah. I don't... I just, I don't know, I was looking at this lattice work just a second. It reminds me of, like, something with a garden, I don't know. Yeah, here we go. The top of this bridge seems to be a sharpened obsidian blade. Talk about walking gingerly. If one leg slipped off, you'd be beside yourself. I said, beside yourself. Forget it. <laughs> for, those in the, for those who are not in the know, obsidian is insanely sharp when you sharpen it. I remember hearing about somebody who wanted to have a surgery done on his heart with obsidian uh, tools instead of, what was it, instead of scalpels regular surgical steel ones and I guess he healed way faster because it was so much sharper but of course obsidian as we all know is very brittle and thank you for coming to my TED talk I would imagine that when a supplicant reached this room there would be a sacrifice victim tied to the altar and the priest would all be arranged in a circle around the perimeter of the chamber the only exit from these caverns seems to be through that passage on the other side so if you pass the trial, they would pivot the bridge around to let you across. If not, well, I guess you're on your own, buddy. That explains some of the skeletons we found, trying to find their way out. Hmm. Yeah, like, what if you were one of the people that died, like, in that wealth one? Everybody would just be sitting here, and the sacrifice is just going to keep laying there in awful anxiety forever. Like, I'm sure they'd still kill him. Yeah, surely my, 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 my. Snakes, snakes, and more snakes. These guys were really obsessed. Hate to be the guy who had to carve all those. He must have been sick of them by the end. <laughs> be like uh, Dwarf Fortress when I go and make the same guy go and carve everything. I used to do that. And then I decided that, no, I don't care. I care about the fort as a whole, and the fort must live on. So I just have everybody doing stuff all the time. I used to have just one person do it. So what do we got here? Uh, Yeah, well... Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back to this in the next episode. Yeah, because it's been 20 minutes just about, and let's leave this on a cliffhanger. <laughs> See you then.